Welcome back to part two of our Scenario Texture Workflow tutorial. In part one, we covered the fundamentals, how to generate high quality textures using Scenario's predefined models, how to train custom texture models, and how to adjust some settings for better control. If you haven't seen it yet, check the description below for a link to part one. Now in part two, We'll focus on customizing outputs using reference images and upscaling textures before integrating them into Unity. By the end, you'll have a better grasp of your texture pipeline, allowing you to create consistent materials for games or renders with full control. Scenario texture generation primarily relies on custom trained models and text prompts. However, for more control over patterns or colors, you can use a reference image by either uploading one or sketching it yourself. This directly shapes the texture's design, working alongside the model and prompt. Here's an example of generating a texture from a sketch. Open the Sketch tool from the Reference Image tab. Use the Brush tool to create a sketch with the details or colors you need. Add details to boost the overall quality of the generated texture. Click Apply when you're done. Adjust the prompt or settings as needed, and generate textures based on your sketch for greater control over the output. This allows to guide the generation of new textures or refine existing ones. Bear in mind, you can simply drag and drop a texture from the feed or choose Use as Reference Image from the menu to load it as a reference and sketch over it. This allows you to quickly make adjustments to your textures. If you need to apply a structured pattern, such as a specific tile arrangement or a repeating design, you can use ControlNet structure to shape your texture with precision. Upload a reference image with the pattern you want to apply. Choose the Structure option so the AI can detect and apply the pattern to your texture. Adjust the influence levels to control how closely the texture follows the pattern. Finding the right balance is key. Too high an influence may overly impact and distort the style. Just like before, you can also manually sketch a pattern and use ControlNet structure to apply it. Reference images are especially useful to ensure generated textures follow specific patterns or color composition. Once your textures are generated, the next step is to enhance their resolution and level of detail to ensure they are production ready. Scenario's Enhance tool lets you upscale textures while preserving or refining details, making them suitable for high-resolution environments. Open the Enhance tool from the three-dot menu on your texture. Select a upscale factor that increases your image by either two times or four times. Choose from different presets, such as Precise, to keep the original details with high accuracy, Balance to maintain details while making slight improvements, or creative, where the AI reinterpret details for a more artistic result. Additionally, you can add style images to direct the Enhance tool toward a specific aesthetic, adjust advanced parameters for optimal results, and even add or modify prompts for even greater control over the output. For more details on Scenario Enhance, refer to the link provided in the description below. Upscaling a texture improves both the render and overall quality. You can create PBR maps from 2K or 4K albedo by clicking Generate Maps, as explained in our Part 1 video. Once your high-resolution textures and maps are generated, you can import them into a 3D software or game engine for real-time rendering. Here's an example in Unity. Click Open in Unity or download the textures manually and place them in the Assets folder. Right-click inside your Assets folder and choose to create a new material. Give it a unique name, then open the Inspector to explore and customize all available material options. Assign textures in the Inspector. Drag the Albedo map into the Base Map slot. Assign the Normal map and click Fix Now if prompted. Place the Metallic map and adjust the Smoothness slider. Next, adjust the tiling settings to ensure your texture is displayed in the best possible way. Drag the material onto your 3D model, ensuring the texture is applied correctly. Once complete, 
your textures are fully integrated and ready for real-time rendering in your game or 3D scene. With Scenario's advanced tools, you now have a complete workflow for creating, refining, and implementing textures into your 3D projects. From custom sketches and pattern applications to high-quality upscaling, Scenario gives you the flexibility to take full control over your generated textures. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on Scenario's powerful tools, and we'll see you in the next video.